Chapter 5, The Wrong Crowd. The Irishman will travel to Calgon Alley via Magical Hearth. It is a quick, efficient means of travel that seems most appropriate for the situation. Ronnie is the first to go. He grabs a handful of cat litter, steps into the fireplace, throws the cat litter, yells his destination, and in a spiral of flames he is gone. Harry is impressed with this new means of transportation. He's so eager to try it out, he volunteers to go next. He takes a warm, lumpy handful of cat litter and steps into the fireplace. Mother Ireland stresses to him the importance of enunciating, but too late. Harry has already mumbled the single incorrect word, Collagony! As Harry twirls about in chimney limbo, he can only wonder as to his fate. Then swoosh! He glides gracefully into a dark arts supermarket. Holy kumquats, thinks Harry. This is not the vibrant, bustling metropolis of Calgon Alley. Ash-faced and humiliated, Harry looks to salvage a bit of his pride. He sees a disembodied hand and challenges it to an arm-wrestling match. Victorious, Harry decides to bounce. Upon exiting the shop, Harry reads a sign that tells him he is in Vagabond Alley. The strange creatures that wander this godforsaken strip of cobblestone are only the most rotten of apples, the gross underbelly of the wizarding community. Of course our Harry attracts a lot of attention, being who he is. He is swarmed by a horde of people with varied intentions. His continued existence seems uncertain when from stage left, in front of a dramatic lighting, comes Harry's old pal Hagar the Horrible. Hagar releases a low-frequency rumble that sends the horde into retreat like dogs in the anticipation of a tsunami. The old friends greet each other and exchange stories and flasks as they enter Harry's original destination, Calgon Alley.